Hi, my name is Bill Martins. I'm with the GM Performance Parts team. Today we're here to talk about the Circle Track portfolio of engines offered through the GM Performance Parts network. The first engine in our portfolio that we're going to talk about now is our workhorse CT350. In the trade and probably to the dealers, it's known as the 602. It's a, a shortened version of the part number, which ends in the digits 8602. So it's kind of become the, the nickname for this engine. The features of this engine, first of all, uh, kind of working from a power price value proposition, this is the entry level engine. This is based on the tried and true 350 iron block. It's a four bolt main. This particular engine puts out 350 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 390 foot pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. So it's a real workhorse. It's a nine to one compression engine. It is a hydraulic flat tappet, and as I would point out, uh, if I didn't mention earlier, all of the engines in our portfolio of circle track engines are sealed. This engine has seals on the intake, on the cylinder heads, as well as on the oil pan and the front cover. This is used primarily in street stock. It's used in the modified B mod or sport mod classes that are so popular right now, and even in some of the uh, late model classes that specify these engines and sometimes are used in uh, conjunction with open motors with a weight brake. So a real value, this engine is street priced pretty much in the $3,200, $3,300 range. And the second engine in our portfolio is the CT355. Part number on this one is ends in an 8603, so again on the street it's known as 8603. This was originally designed for the late model class, a little bit more horsepower, freer breathing Corvette aluminum heads in this motor. Briefly, uh, it, there's a uh, larger gap in the top end to the bottom end. Uh, the 355 fills some of that need. It brings 355 horsepower, 400 foot, uh, 405 foot-pounds of torque to the party. It's a very torquey engine. Some classes, short tracks, uh, really like this engine. It is 10 to 1 compression. It has Corvette aluminum uh, D98 heads on it, so it is a freer breathing engine than the first one we talked about. With this engine, we also upgrade to a steel crankshaft and a hydraulic roller. There is a price step from the uh, entry level to the CT355. This is about a $4,200 engine on the street. Okay, for the third engine in our portfolio, we're going to step it up in a couple different areas. First of all is the horsepower. The CT400 engine, which ends in the part number 8604, uh, has a open plenum high-rise intake. The other engines have a single plane intake on them, so we pick up power that way. Under the valve covers, we also have aluminum roller rockers. Now, all of this works in conjunction with our free-breathing GM Performance Parts fast burn heads. These heads are used on a couple of the higher horsepower 350s, and it's been a great, great addition to the Circle Track engine. The power is delivered, of course, uh, with the addition of the Circle Track oil pan, and we do have seals on the engine in the same configuration, same places as we do on the previous two engines. This engine is very, very popular in the late models and some of the uh, higher end modified classes. And for our fourth engine today, we're going to talk about we're going to have a whole new architecture. This is the brand new CT525. It's about a year old now but it's based on a completely different foundation than our previous three engine families. This is a LS3 based program that is the base engine in the Corvette. Now in our configuration for circle track, we change out the electronic fuel injection, we add a carbureted single plane high rise, change the camshaft, put a circle track oil pan on, all of that together comes up with 525 horsepower at 6700 RPM. It produces 471 foot-pounds of torque and is a great addition for that late model or super late model type class. Now this architecture is very different. It's a completely aluminum engine, cylinder heads manifold and block. It's a six bolt main program. Uh, it does have the seals as the other engines do, uh, but one noticeable uh, part that's absent here is there is no distributor in the new family, the LS family. If you're not familiar with these, these are distributor, uh, distributor-less, coil-on-plug type of applications. 
This requires a separate ignition module to fire the coils. Very simple, plug and play, very easy. Just add battery power and you can go racing. Now this steps up when we get to the higher horsepower level. This also does step up in the price level. Street price on this engine is about $7,500 without the module. When adding in the module, uh, we're just about at that $8,000 total package price. Well, that's a quick overview of the GM Performance Parts Circle Track portfolio. We hope that you've learned something today. If you're interested, if you're a veteran, we've got an engine for you. Our main message is that we have a value proposition for this grassroots racer. From the street stock all the way up to the super late models, we've got a very, very good offering in, in dollars per horsepower. That's what it's all about. It's long-term value through GM Performance Parts. If there's something that I went too fast, didn't answer today, uh, we'd certainly encourage you to visit uh, gmperformanceparts.com where we have all the information on our products or you may prefer to get a hard copy of the paper catalog at a GM Performance Parts authorized dealer or for that matter any GM dealer that uh, you may uh, visit in your local neighborhood. We'd like to thank you today for uh, watching and hearing our story and good racing to all of you.